You've got a killer podcast idea, you've invested in the right equipment, and you've even filmed a few episodes, but something feels off. What is it? Your podcast needs a brand, not just any brand, a brand that sticks, that your audience recognizes immediately. And that is exactly what we're tackling today. Think about it. When you're scrolling through podcasts, what's the first thing that catches your eye? It's not the episode title or the description, it's the visual. Your podcast's name, logo, and cover art are like your podcast's first impression. And here's the thing. Whether you're just starting out or looking to rebrand, creating a solid brand kit is essential. It helps you stand out, it tells your audience what you're about, and it helps build recognition across all platforms. But it's more than just visuals. Your podcast's brand is the full experience. It's how you introduce your episodes, the tone you set, and how you connect with listeners across all platforms, whether that's on YouTube, Instagram, or Apple Podcasts. So how do you make a brand kit that actually works? That's what we're diving into today. We'll cover everything from picking the perfect name, to designing your logo and cover art, to creating engaging intros and eye-catching thumbnails. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear roadmap to building a podcast brand that stands out and sticks with your audience. And make sure to stick to the end of this video for a surprise segment from our very own Studio Steve. Hey, I'm Wallace. I'm a podcast producer and instructor here where we help podcasters like you build brands that are more than just visuals. Your brand is the foundation of your podcast's identity, and that's what we'll be diving into today. In this video, we'll be looking at how to choose the perfect podcast name, one that really sticks and grows with you. We'll be looking at designing your podcast logo and cover art, making sure they're both eye-catching and reflective of your brand. And finally, we'll be crafting intros and thumbnails, building a cohesive brand that works across multiple platforms. Let's start with the name. This is the foundation of your brand. It needs to be catchy, memorable, and reflective of your podcast's content. But how do you come up with something that ticks all the boxes? One tool I really like to use is Answer the Public. Using tools like this, you can discover keywords and phrases that resonate with your target audience. For example, if your podcast is focused on tech, names like bite-sized brilliance or Silicon Valley stories, immediately tell people what your podcast is about and they're SEO friendly too. A podcast name that makes people smile is more likely to stick in their minds. But remember, keep the name broad enough so that it can grow with your content so you don't have to worry about rebranding later on down the line. Take a look at podcasts like how I Built This or Armchair Expert. These names don't pigeonhole them into one particular niche while also being fun and catchy and memorable. A name like this grows with your podcast. It lets you explore a variety of topics without limiting yourself. So when you're naming your podcast, think about longevity, creativity, and ultimately what will resonate with your audience in the long term. It's the first step in creating a brand that sticks. Now that you have a great name, it's time to make it visually pop. Your podcast logo and cover art, on the other hand, are the visual hooks that pull your potential audience in. And trust me, they matter. As much as we don't want to admit it, people will judge your podcast based on its cover. So we have to make sure that it stands out. Start with a minimalist design something clean and modern. You can use platforms like Canva to create a professional looking logo in minutes. This is your podcast's billboard. It's what grabs attention in crowded spaces like Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Think about creating interactive or evolving cover art where colors or elements change every season to keep things fresh. Test different versions of your cover art across platforms like Instagram or YouTube to see what resonates most with your audience. You can easily test variations using AI tools that give instant feedback on engagement. Remember, your logo and cover art are the face of your podcast. Make it bold, make it unique, but most importantly, make it speak directly to your audience. Now that your name, logo, and cover art are in place, we gotta talk about your intros and your thumbnails. These are the elements that build consistency across all of your platforms, whether your audience is listening to your podcast or watching it on YouTube. Your intro is like your podcast's signature. Whether it's a 10 second jingle or a short audio clip with a voiceover, your intro should set the tone for your show. Use custom sound design to make it personal and 
memorable. You can even create modular intros that change depending on your guest or your topic. This keeps your episodes looking fresh and personal. Maybe you add a soundbite from a guest or even an audio clip from a listener to build community. Thumbnails are another crucial part of your brand kit, especially on YouTube where visuals drive clicks. Your thumbnails need to be bold, easy to read, and engaging. Use consistent typography, but change colors and images based on the topic or guest. And for some additional pointers on creating the ultimate thumbnail, here's Studio Steve. Well, hey, I asked Wallace if I could pop in on his video to share my passion for Canva Pro because I'm a Canva Pro enthusiast. If you haven't tried Canva yet, you can try it for free by going to pss.media slash Canva. But soon after trying it for free, you'll probably realize that you do indeed want to upgrade to Canva Pro because it has so many cool perks, including a background remover effect and a ton of stock footage, both video, audio, and photos. It it really is a must have in any podcaster's production toolkit. So for the purposes of a fun demonstration, kind of get you started in Canva Pro, let's use a mock podcast about sandwiches and we'll call it Dreams of Sandwiches. And let's say you just need some help brainstorming. Of course, you could always ask AI right here in Canva to design a podcast cover and get you going with different brand ideas. Now baked into Canva, they have the Dream Lab. Here along the left-hand side, you'll find all of the tools and Dream Lab at the bottom. When you click on it, this allows you to describe any image you want. You can change the aspect ratio of the image by clicking on this button right here. We'll leave it as the one by one square aspect ratio for a podcast cover. And we can just describe in a few words what our podcast is about or what we imagine a cool podcast cover about sandwiches would be. So let's see here. A savory sandwich. Packed with colorful toppings, sauces, cheeses, and meats is dreaming of a podcast. And moments later, we have a bunch of variations that we can choose from. And directly here, we can choose to edit this AI image. We can use it in a design. And this could be your podcast cover. Dreams of sandwiches. Here, you could then just add more things to this design directly from selecting one of these tools on the left again. One of them is text. We say add text box, or you can even look at different font combinations they have already baked into Canva. For example, this one right here, I could pop it in there and now ungroup it and type in the name of my podcast. Of course, to get this text now to pop out more, I might need to throw another element in here. I could click on the elements tab and search for all sorts of elements, including white blur. And then I'll click on the graphics here to see what kind of white blurs we have. How about this one right here? Ooh, that looks good. And I can make it nice and big. You could also then play with the opacity of this element that we just dragged in by clicking on this icon up here. Notice when you hover over it, it says transparency and we can just make it a little more transparent. You could also manipulate more the effects that are applied on any one of your elements by clicking on the effects option. So with the word dreams of here, for example, I can lift the effect up more to make it more intense or I can play around with different effects that it has. Has. That's a pretty quick and amazing podcast cover for my podcast about sandwiches. But really on the topic of branding and building a brand kit for your podcast, I want to illustrate a couple really cool takeaways with Canva. So let's go back to Canva's homepage. And again, along the left hand side, we have all of these main tools. One of them is brand. Let's click on that. And you'll notice here, you can actually create a new brand kit. You choose add new title, your brand kit dreams of sandwiches. And here you can add your colors. You can choose fonts that you add to your brand kit. You can also share photos here. So if you have a photo shoot that you do for your brand new podcast, you can put all of those poses here in photos, graphics, icons, logos, all of your brand items all in one place. This really unlocks some serious power of efficiency and workflow. When you're making designs every single week for your podcast, you can quickly apply your brand colors to any one of Canva's built-in template designs. And you can quickly use your fonts and drag in your logos and images into all of your designs. But to just come here and start clicking and start randomly choosing colors may not be the most fun way of deciding what your brand colors ought to be and what your text and logos ought to be. And for that, I really like to look at Canvas templates. And we can do that by creating any kind of design. If you click create design here, the big main purple button, here we can actually type in podcast and you'll notice podcast cover pops up. So we can choose podcast cover and now it's opened up a blank design for us. But along the left hand side, we have all of these built in templates that we can already start 
start using for our own podcast. So this, for example, we could pop this in here. Let's say we like the way that it looks. All we would have to do is drag in an image of ourselves in place of the image there. And as I mentioned, there's a really standout background remover effect that you get with Canva Pro. This effect is worth the monthly subscription alone. And now that we can actually see the name of our podcast and a picture of ourselves actually in a design, this is a really cool place to now start exploring different color palettes that we can add to our brand kit. And an easy way to do that in Canva is to click on this top icon here in the left-hand side that says design. And this is where we saw our templates, but there's two options up here or tabs, you could say, templates and styles. If we click over into styles, this gives us an option to look through Canva's built-in color and font combinations. I can choose see all here and now just start clicking on them and it will show me different font and color combinations that are popular and work really well with each other here in Canva. Once you find one that you kind of like, you can continue to click on this shuffle icon here to shuffle through the colors that are inside of this to really determine, yes, I love the colors, I love the fonts, this is the idea that I had for my brand. Then once you have those fonts chosen, again, you can click on your brand icon here and start adding these colors to your brand. With this color selected here, there's now an option right here that says add your brand colors. So we click here and we just added this color to our brand. So that's a quick tour, a quick crash course in how fast you can get cooking in Canva. Get in there, go to pss.media slash Canva to try it for free and check out all of these tools along the left-hand side. Start clicking in there, throw some templates into blank pages and you'll get cooking really fast. Okay, now back to Wallace. Let's quickly recap. First, we talked about choosing a podcast name that's both memorable and reflects your podcast's content. Then we dove into designing a logo and cover art that stands out and speaks to your audience. Finally, we explored how to create consistent and engaging intros and thumbnails that'll drive clicks to all of your platforms. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what's one tip you're excited to try for your podcast. Let me know in the comments below.